So I stumbled upon this, uh, I was on my run today and ran past this place. Um, I forget the name of it, but it's a IV place that, you know, they do wellness shots, they do IVs, they make it real sexy in here for you. It's a vibe. <laughs> I used to have an IV nurse that would come by the house and um, she would, uh, you know, hook me up. Her name was Zoriana. She, <clears throat> she did like, she did IV stuff for a lot of uh, athletes and guys from the Clippers and a few uh, rappers. And I think she worked with Puffy and French Montana and a couple other people. But, you know, whenever after I had like a long workout week or coming back from traveling, coming back from out of the country, stuff like that, she would come through and hook me up. Get some good magnesium, vitamin C, B12, uh, electrolytes, you know, all the things to keep you hydrated, keep your muscles from cramping up. I train like an athlete, so I gotta, you know, I have to recover like an athlete, take care of my body like an athlete. A lot of good amino acids and things of that nature. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, when did I start? I started on my health journey. I mean, I've been working out on and off for, oh my gosh, since like 2004. But as of, um, and then I got serious about my nutrition in like 2015 and uh, started practicing some veganism on and off, you know, pescatarianism on and off and stuff like that. Um, and just finding my way with my nutrition um, and making that like a big, big part of my life, you know, a priority. Um, and then, uh, as of, I want to say 2019, late, uh, October, 2018, since 20, uh, October, 2018, Halloween to be exact, I, uh, got just really, really serious about my fitness and I started getting into intermittent fasting. Um, and that just took me over the top. I lost like 30 pounds. Um, you know, I would always have like this sort of on and off relationship like a lot of us do with working out fitness and stuff like that. I would start, you know, get all hot and sexy for the summer. And then it's like, oh, I want to party now. <laughs> I want to drink <laughs> and eat pizza and fried chicken and shit. <laughs> but and I would just do this up and down, up and down, up and down thing all the time. And I just got tired of it. I was like, yo, I want to, once I get my weight down and I get to the place I really want to be, I'm going to stay with it. You know what I mean? Because you know that feeling is like when you got to, when you start again after it's like, all right, you was good last year, a couple of years ago, you was doing good. Then you fell off and then you got all fat again. And then, you know what I mean? And you're like, oh man, I got to get in shape. So you jump back on it super, super hard. And you're like, man, if I'd have just stayed dedicated if I'd have just stayed dedicated, man, I was crushing it a couple of years ago. If I'd have just stayed on it, I'd be the shit right now. So, yeah, I just kind of got tired of that up and down, up and down swing, you know. And I was like, yo, I'm going to just be consistent in my 40s and just stick to it, you know, and then flourish in my 40s. So, you know, I made a commitment to myself and uh, like Halloween 2018, I made a real commitment to myself and I just, I, you know. It's been coming up on two years now. I lost, like I said, I lost 30 pounds. I went from 197 to uh, 167. Even got down to 165, 164. Um, that's like shit. That's like high school weight. You know what I'm saying? Wearing a size small. Everything is size small. But um, I was able to maintain some decent lean muscle mass and just get really ripped. So I was looking really good, you know? So that's where I, now I kind of, level off. I, I got back up to like 175. I played around with that, but I, I really like, I feel like I'm, I feel my best cruising at around 170. Um, I just feel light. I feel agile. I feel fast. Um, I was boxing. I was swimming, working out in the pool. I was riding a bike. I love to do my uh, hikes and runs in the mountain, in the canyons. That's like a big thing for me. Started practicing meditation heavy, um, yoga, a lot of deep stretching is really, really good for me. So I kind of have like this like CrossFit type of thing. I hit the weights too, but I'm not like the crazy, crazy gym rat dude. Um, I'm really 
big on on my nutrition, my hydration. Um, I try to eat more so of a 80% plant diet. I'll say about 70% plant diet. I still eat animal protein here and there. I mess with eggs. I mess with, you know, chicken and fish and, you know, a lot of seafood. I love seafood. But um, but then I'll just go through these stages where I'm like, yo, I don't want... My, I just listen to my body. I've created a really great synergy between my mind and body. So I'm able to just listen to my body and my body will say, we don't want no meat. No meat this week, you know, no meat actually for the next two weeks or the next 30 days or whatever. Or sometimes I'm just like, yo, I'm, we need chicken <laughs> or we need fish or whatever, you know. I just listen to my body. Um, my body will say, you know, let's just run today. Or my body will say, yo, let's do calisthenics. Or my body will say, yo, let's hit the gym. Let's get under some iron, pump some iron, you know. So I just really learned to uh, create. Just, just find that great synergistic relationship, mind, body, and soul. There's that oneness um, is what I'm really, really about these days. Um, and, uh, and and then I start, you know, and I find cool little things like this. Like, you know, this is like really cool. You can even, looks like you can come in here and do this with your boo. You know what I mean? They got the TV. They got the Netflix in here. They got the cool blue lights. You know what I mean? Um, and they, you know, set you up. Give you the vitamin B12 shot in your arm. Got that in my right arm, and you just kind of sit and chill. And normally, I would just sit chill and meditate, or you know, be on Instagram or something silly. But I was like, you know what? Today, let me let me invite my my people, invite my tribe into my world, and show y'all, you know, what I do and share this experience with y'all. So I'm gonna be doing some more stuff like this and posting it here on my uh, on my YouTube page. So please, you know, like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend um, if you want to get on a health journey and uh, um, I can definitely help you. I'll be sharing. Please feel free to comment um, and let me know, you know, what you want me to talk about. If you have any questions, um, if you want me to talk about intermittent fasting, which was a big time game changer for me. Fasting in itself is just really, really good for the body. It helps to boost your immune system. I mean, obviously, the appetite suppressing it helps you just to get your appetite under control on a mental level. Um, it's good for sleep. It's good for energy. It's good, obviously, for weight loss. Um, and I, I actually, it, uh, when you get into a good, healthy fasting regimen, it can actually help your body to produce, uh, you know, growth hormones. So you'll actually gain you know, uh, some good, some good lean muscle mass and you'll actually look bigger, you know what I mean? And, and more ripped, you know what I mean? Um, uh, so, and, and it just really helped for my mental state. I was, uh, you know, struggling with depression, anxiety, insomnia, a lot of things. I've been in the music business my whole life. So just that all night type of lifestyle all night in the studio, late night doing shows and concerts and then jumping on flights. I just, had and then eating like shit, you know, you just <clears throat> start to develop bad habits that affect you later. And as I got older, I noticed these things started to affect me. And I would just be, you know, having this crazy anxiety or, or crazy depression, and, you know, or just bad insomnia, can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep. And uh, health, um, diet, nutrition, fitness, um, and, you know, meditation and now fasting have pretty much cured all of that. <laughs> I can't even lie. Like, I'm good. I'm flying high. Um, I'm feeling good. Um, and it just made me an all-around better person. And I'm glad that I found a more holistic approach to fixing myself than, uh, you know, getting on Zoloft and all these antidepressants and all these other drugs that just fuck you up even more. So, yeah, man. Um if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And uh, I'll check back in with some more cool stuff. All right? All right.